Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm here with a new knitting podcast. Now my last knitting podcast was not that long ago. I believe it was only 10 days or so. But I felt like doing one again. I wanted to do a yarn stash or yarn collection video today. And then with all of the sweater quantities that I have and my plans for them. But then I thought, well, I don't even have plans for all of the sweater quantities that I have. Besides the designs that I have planned out. So I don't think it would be a very exciting video to show you. I can only show you the yarn and that's it. And I think that's a little bit boring. Now what I'm wearing, because I always forget to say what I'm wearing. I am wearing my Finnish Sophie shawl indoors because it's really chilly. And I did two different colors. So they are both drops Nepal, but just in different colors, which I will have linked below in a description. And then I'm wearing my cardigan number no. six by My Favorite Things Knitwear, which you cannot really see when I'm sitting down, but it's there and it's also really cute and pink and um, yeah of course one of my favorites i don't really wear it enough because it feels like a more fancy knit but it is really beautiful then today i have i think well yeah just a lot of works in progress and i don't have any finished objects i've only casted on or started new projects which is just naturally how it is nowadays but i will show you the work in progress number one which has been on my needles the longest and it's the Earth Pullover by Ozetta. And the reason that it has been on my needles for so long is because it's all over stockinette and that's just not really something that I gravitate towards. I do really like knitting vanilla socks as a little stockinette project or break from other projects, but this is just not, yeah, it's just not doing it for me. And I think when it's finished, I will enjoy wearing it, but also just a basic sweater that like this, it's not necessarily my style. I think I'm more, I don't even know how to describe it, but I just like things that are a little bit different also in my sweaters. This sweater is knit on five millimeter needles. So it is a relatively quick project. And then it's knit with two strands of fingering weight held double. And I'm knitting it in Drops Flora in this beautiful pistachio color. I definitely really love the color. So I'm excited to finish it. And I have made a little bit of progress, which is why I'm showing you. And um, it's not a lot, but I've started the ribbing on my first sleeve. Of course, I still need to do the other sleeve, but it is my goal to have this finished in a next knitting podcast. And actually, ideally in a next knitting podcast, I would have finished three sweaters. I don't know how realistic that is, but it's my goal. So I'm just sharing it. Maybe this is a manifestation and maybe it will happen now. Now a bit about this sweater. The construction and the pattern is really nice. The only thing that I don't like now that I've done the ribbing on the body is that the body and the ribbing is done on the same needle size. And now that I've done the ribbing on the sleeve and the neckline where I size down a needle size, I'm realizing that I don't really like that look for one by one half twisted rib. So I will show you the difference. I think when you see the neckline and the ribbing, it just looks much neater compared to when you see the body and the ribbing. Like for some reason, I just find it looks a little bit floppy or like not so neat. And then I also just did a regular bind off, which is also not the best. So I'm not too happy about it at the moment. And I know I will have to go back and fix it and do the ribbing again. But if you've been here before, you know that ribbing really is not my favorite thing to do. So the thought of going back and fixing it is not super fun, but I know that it needs to happen. And so I'm going to do it. And also now that I'm looking at it, just the way it just stretches, like, I just don't like it. It just, it doesn't cinch in enough. I think I've come to terms with that I like my ribbing to cinch in a little bit. And that's okay, it's a lesson learned for next time. And eventually this is going to be finished. Like I said, in my next knitting podcast, I'm going to do it. You're now the witness of that goal. My next work in progress is my Celeste sweater by Petite Knit. I've also shown this in my previous podcast, but I've actually made quite a bit of progress on it because I've been prioritizing this one. So let me just show you. I have just started the body ribbing today. So it's super exciting that I'm almost ready to bind off the body and then continue to the sleeves, which I think should be a breeze, just some knitting it around. But then I'm saying that and then the earth pullover still has not had a sleeve since the last three weeks. But maybe this is going to be different because I'm a little bit more excited about this one. The color work just looks really beautiful and I'm very happy about it. It's looking a little bit lumpy. I'm also not sure about the size right now. I believe I'm knitting the extra small and I believe they also have an extra extra small. And I did try it on right after finishing the color work yoke. And then when I put it on, it was very big and just standing out like that. So I was not too happy about it, but I decided to just 
go and move towards the body and see what happens. And I actually have not tried it on since. I've just kept on knitting and now doing the ribbing. I'm kind of trusting that it will be all right. Also, I don't think I've ever mentioned this because it's kind of my little secret, but I never do a gauge swatch. So I also don't know if I'm on gauge or not, but maybe I am, maybe I am not. The reason I don't do a gauge swatch is because I just find it a little bit of a waste of time and also a little bit of a waste of yarn. I definitely see the pros of doing it because of course you will know that something is actually going to fit, which is very important. But I would rather just start and then kind of see or estimate if it's going to be all right. And then if it's not, I really don't mind frogging and starting again. I do it all of the time. And I just prefer it over a gauge swatch. So even for my designs that I knit, I actually don't swatch either. I just start knitting it. And sometimes I don't like the lace pattern that I've chosen or I don't like an increase or a decrease. And then I would just start again. And I know that is going to shock some people, but now my secret is out there and please don't judge me. <laughs> then the Celeste sweater I am knitting with Drops Daisy, which I'm absolutely finding an amazing yarn so far. It's probably going to peel a lot because it's super duper soft. And I don't think everybody also loves this yarn because it's so soft. If you like something rustic, I definitely would not recommend. But if you like something soft, then this is a great yarn. It's a DK weight yarn and it's non superwash. It's pretty affordable. I also believe it's on sale right now, which is definitely very tempting. But yeah, that's the progress on my Celeste sweater. And this is also one of the sweaters that I want to have finished in my next knitting podcast. So that's two out of three. And now I will show you the third one. So whip number three is my own design and it's called the Sweet Sierra sweater. And since my last knitting podcast, I've finished the sleeve. And I don't know if I was finished with the body or anything, but we have at least the first sleeve. So let me show you a bit better. This is how the body looks. It's just an all over cable and textured sweater, just like that. And then this is my sleeve number one, which I made quite long. Yeah, now you're able to see. And I did a little ruffle edge, which I just find absolutely adorable. Let me show you. It's very cute. At first I didn't know how I felt about it, but then I just took a little break from it, stopped knitting on it, put it away, then went back a few days later and thought, damn, that's really cute. And I did a good job on that. <laughs> I did make another instruction in a pattern to do a straight sleeve. So not with any decreases, but just a straight sleeve in case anybody likes that. I'm not going to add a decrease type of sleeve because it's just really not my thing. So I don't really feel the need to add it to my pattern. And I think if you really wanted to, you could add it. Yeah, you would do it at the bottom and as you can see, the bottom of the sleeve is just moss stitch. So I don't think you will have any difficulty adding decreases if you wanted a tapered sleeve. Then this sweater is also knit on five millimeter needles. So it's super quick. I think I knit the body in like a week and then the sleeves in two days. And then yeah, now I've taken a little bit of a break from it because I was just knitting on it a little bit too much. I did also send out today the pattern to my tech editor. So it's going to be ready for test knitting soon. So be on the lookout. But I'm so excited about this design and yeah, I'm loving where this is going. And this I'm also knitting in Drop Stacy in just a beautiful lilac color. But then the difference is that I'm knitting this one with some silk mohair in there and it's just making a really beautiful fabric and I would really recommend. I've also blocked this one and by blocking, I mean steam blocking. I don't have the space to wet block. I don't have the patience to wet block. And then generally I like to knit things according to the final measurements that I want. So I will just knit the sleeve to the full length that I want and not anything shorter and then see how much it will grow with blocking. I feel like that's a more risky thing to do. I like to just knit them full length and then sometimes they grow a tiny bit with steam blocking. Sometimes they don't. I would say usually things stay around the same size roughly. But yeah, this one is just really cute. Let me show you the cables and bubbles one more time. I really love this sweater and I'm really looking forward to wearing this one. I think it's going to be really cozy. I did crop it, so it's a little bit, um, yeah, it's a bit cropped, but we'll see how I like to wear it. I can always lengthen it. I do have enough yarn, but I was kind of hoping to have enough for a cozy cocoa hood by Kutofa Kika in this purple yarn, I think, on my head. That will be nice, right? So by my next knitting podcast, I basically need to knit four sleeves. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if that's going to happen, but it would for sure be nice. And it's also going to be weird because then suddenly I'm going to have three new sweaters to wear. And I really, I feel like I haven't had a new sweater in a long time because I've just been 
casting on and casting on. My next work in progress really has not seen a lot of progress, but there has been a little bit. And it's going to be a little hat, just a very basic one. I kind of feel like I'm in the need of one that's yeah, basic and a nice plain color. So this is what I have so far. I believe the last time it was maybe half of this size or a bit less. This is going to be the Frosty Apple Hat by Drops Design. And I'm knitting it in a yarn that's kind of similar to Drops Air. It's this one. Gazal Alpaca Air. It's a really nice blown type of yarn. This is knit on 3.5 millimeter needles, which is really nice. I actually just got these little circulars to knit the hat on because I despise Magic Loop. And this is just a really nice one by one rib. So you really don't have to look at it. And it's a nice mindless project. So that is another work in progress that um, yeah, has not <laughs> made a lot of progress. And then I have two new works in progress. The first one is a pair of socks. Because I really have not been knitting socks in a long time. And yeah, I really want more hand knitted socks. But then I'm not knitting any. Like it was literally one of my goals for 2024 to make more hand knit socks. And then today is 19th of February. And I haven't touched a single sock. This entire year. And that's just a shame. Naturally, when Sari Norklund announced that she had a little Valentine's Day sale, I did the only logical thing that any knitter would do, and I got three sock patterns. I don't remember all of the ones that I got, only the ones that I casted on, and I casted on the Poet Socks, which is just a beautiful all over lace and seed stitch design. <laughs> Very intense knit, probably, but super duper gorgeous. So I've only done the ribbing, and I've Extended it by half a centimeter because I like this length. This yarn is Drop Snort, which I really like for socks. And I believe this color is called Caramel and I think it's one of the most beautiful colors. I really want to knit a dress and I think I want to do it in this yarn held double. I'm thinking that that would be a really cute design for this year. But I'm trying not to buy yarn and then I also have other designs in progress. So I kind of have a rule that I need to finish those first and then I can buy... A sweater or a sweater dress quantity of this yarn. So that's coming hopefully. And I think that's going to be really cute. And there aren't a lot of dress patterns out there. And I always want to do something a little bit different. Or that's not already been done yet. And I don't really have a lot of other things to say about these socks. I think they're just cuff down 2.5 millimeter needles. Which is my favorite needle size for socks. And then my final work in progress was very impulsive. I started this one yesterday. And it's going to be a crochet bag. At first I thought a crochet handbag to actually use and go outside. But now I'm thinking maybe it's better off as a project bag. But I'm just going to show you. Currently in this little bag. First of all I did buy yarn to make this project. Because I really wanted to make it in acrylic yarn. I'm not big on a bag for outside in wool yarn. It doesn't really make a lot of sense to me. This is the yarn that I'm using. It's from Zeeman which the Dutchies will know. I don't know the yarn name of this one. I believe it's called Dream. And it was like 3 euros a ball. So I got 2 of them. And I just really like the color of this one. They say that it's for a 7 to 8 millimeter needle. But I thought that was a little bit strange. I don't think it's that thick. But I'm doing it on 5 millimeter needles. And this is what I've done so far. I've basically made a single crochet circle. And then just kept on doing increases. So now it's just single crochet in a round again and again. So this is a really mindless project. And really nice to work on. I definitely really missed crochet. I had a lot of fun already with making this. And it's a really nice break from knitting. I think I've maybe knit a little bit too much in the past month or two months. So this has been a really nice break. And then I also used a YouTube tutorial for the next little thing that I'm going to put on top of it. So for some reason I thought it would be fun to make crochet flowers. And then to put those all over the bucket bag. I've made little crochet puff flowers and they are so freaking adorable as you can see they're like thick you know they're squishy that's why they are called puff flowers and these are so fun to make and they only took like 15 minutes per flower really cute really fun to do with little scrappy bits of yarn i also think this would be so cute in a baby project i also was imagining having a baby like a mobile that you know that sits on top of the baby's bed like you could have those little daisies or flowers dangling that's super adorable. I'm also doing this in acrylic yarn just because that's my preference I think for crochet and like I said a more practical accessory item like this. So one of them is just a fingering weight acrylic and it's kind of funny that crochet and acrylic is just so affordable because I spent 10 euros on all of the materials which I think is a steal for 
hours of fun and then you have a nice bag at the end of it. This week I'm actually filming a little knit vlog or everything that I knit in a week video. So I'm hoping by the end of the video I will have some progress to show you on my crochet bag. Then I have one more project to talk about that is not on my needles yet, but my tech editor Marie F. She is currently making a sock pattern. They are called the Fiorellini socks, if I pronounce it correctly. And it's a beautiful colorwork sock pattern with a floral motif. And then all of the florals are actually different. And I'm very excited about it because the first time that I saw it on her podcast, I was just super excited about that design. I love anything floral. And I also have never done colorwork socks. I've only done colorwork and socks, but never together. So I'm really excited to learn. I remember a long time ago, I tried to make checkerboard socks for my sister. So they were color work. And then my tension was all over the place because I didn't use a pattern. And I think from that sock, I was a bit discouraged to try color work socks again. But she has made the pattern more beginner friendly. So I'm really excited to learn this way and yeah, have a new skill. So what I'm thinking about is the yarn, of course, because that's one of the most important things. And I also want to impress her with a beautiful color combination. I'm not sure about the yardage for the pattern, but I'm just thinking out loud and sharing some of the options that I have in my collection with you. So this is my blanket basket. I'm still trying to knit a blanket. I have not started yet, but I'm gathering the yarns for sure. But in here I have a bunch of sock yarns that are left over. Not all of them have nylon in them. Probably the ones that don't have any nylon in them I would only use for the flowers. I'm thinking maybe brown and pink. I know that's very predictable of me, but it's a classic combination, you know? So what can I say? I'm thinking maybe this one for the main color and then maybe this one for the flowers. I think these go really beautifully together and they give a nice contrast. I could also do something different with like a bright hot pink like that, but I don't think it really suits the design. I think it needs something more natural. I also have some hand dyed yarn in pink like this. That would be, I think, a bigger contrast between light and dark. Like, I don't know. Let me know what you think would be nice in these socks. Now, lastly, for this video, like I said, I want to do a little bit of a knit and chat. So I'm just going to grab probably my Celeste sweater because that's what I was working on before this. And we're just gonna, yeah, knit and chat. Now, for the knit and chat, I kind of just wanted to talk about some life updates. I don't really have any major life updates or necessarily news to share with you. But probably a year ago when I started making these videos, I talked a lot about my mental health and that I had travel anxiety and that knitting was helping me a lot. And that's also kind of why I got back into knitting. So now it's been a year later and I have not really talked about it a lot, like only just a little bit here and there. But I do have some updates. Yeah, I'm still in therapy, so that's going well. I think I'm almost finished, but then we're probably going to do like another cycle or round so maybe like one or two more months but then i think the traveling has been a lot better the other day i actually went to primark and then they have like six floors there and then i went into the elevator by myself which is something that i never thought i would do because if there's no need for me to go in the elevator then i probably won't especially by myself like i feel the need to be normal like i know other people they go into the elevator and they don't think about it but then if I go into the elevator, I think that I'm going to die there and get stuck. And that's of course not a normal thought to have to go into the elevator. But I did it and I was really proud of myself. And of course nothing happened and I didn't get stuck. And I didn't die or else I wouldn't be sitting here. So that was a really good step for my mental health or my travel anxiety. Then I also this weekend took the train. I did go by the train with my boyfriend. So it was of course a little bit stressful then if I were to go alone, but it actually it also went really well. And whilst traveling, I was thinking, well, how do I feel? How is my anxiety? Because you have to think about that kind of stuff. I didn't really feel a lot of anxiety or stress. It was kind of weird. It was kind of like old times, even though it's still in my mind. But I do still have some anxiety about just traveling for a longer period of time. And then I also get homesick sometimes. So I just I kind of just want to stay home all the time, which is not possible. And I, of course, also want to experience life and travel and see new places, which is not really possible if you don't want to travel and you don't want to sleep anywhere else that's not your own place. So it's something that I'm trying to get rid of. But actually, in about a month, I'm going to go away again for a week, also with my boyfriend and his family. And then I'm also going to travel by train by myself 
for two and a half hours, which I think will be a really good practice for me. And then today I think I'm going to book a train ticket to London because my sister lives there. And I have not been for a while. I think my last time was around half a year ago, but then I only went because she was unwell. And then I went by airplane, which was a really bad idea. But now this time I would go by train. So I think it would be a lot less stressful and also a good practice. But it does make me nervous, you know, to, to book something and to make a commitment, basically. But it's also exciting because life then at least is moving in the right direction. You know, you're making progress and that's the most important thing after all. And it's scary. But it's going to get better and things will get easier eventually. So those are some updates on my mental health and traveling. That's been really good. I'm trying to, you know, get better. Then I also have some life updates. I mean, of course, I'm knitting and making videos and making knitting patterns. But that does not really pay the bill, sadly. Not yet, at least for me. I've thought about starting a Patreon, but I'm not entirely sure how I feel about that. But if you have an opinion about it, please do let me know in the description or... If you would support it or not, or what kind of videos you would like to see on there. Then I also had a job interview this morning to be a receptionist, which is quite exciting. And then I have another job interview about it tomorrow morning. So I will let you know how that goes. I'm not sure also how I feel about it. It's kind of weird to go from being self-employed for, I think, one and a half years to then working for someone else again. I'm trying to push away the negative thoughts that I have about it because I feel like I'm just giving up a lot. But then I have to remember that I'm also gaining a lot of it. I would be working part time so I could at least pay all of my, all of the bills that I have every month. So then that's like a big stress factor or something that you don't have to think about anymore. And then I could also invest more money into my business because then my YouTube, you know, can progress. My knitting patterns can get better. I can buy more yarn. <laughs> But I don't want to talk too much about the future or how it will change because of course I don't know if it's going to happen or if I will get hired or not. But I am looking yeah, at a part-time job or something to do on the side. So that's probably my biggest life update. Let me see. I don't think, yeah, I didn't write anything else down. So I really hope that you enjoyed this little video. Just a quick knitting podcast and then a little knit and chat. And my next video, like I said, is going to be the weekly vlog of everything that I knit in a week. And then I will see you then. So I wish you all a very happy day. Happy knitting and bye-bye.